Hello everybody, really welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Fire 4, Kai's right guys, it's Jing, let us continue on from we last left off. So Anjing has agreed to join the faction, so that's pretty good. Right now we're looking pretty, pretty powerful, I would say, with 28, 33, and 9. Nobody else in China really can compete, it's really just a matter of um, factions. And of course, Fenty government with the backing of Japan. Japan is by far the biggest threat. Why do you actually not hate me? Similar ideology. Okay, sure. Um, I don't like you. Because they hold our claimed provinces. What do... I'm guessing Taiwan? No. What do they actually own that I'm claiming? Oh, it's probably you. Yes. Middle Africa and Portugal ended their hostilities. Middle Africa took a little bit of territory, but not really that much. A little bit disappointed. A little, you know, disappointing showing from them. AD has been annexed by the Dominican Republic, or the other way around. It was one of those two. It be done in 55 days. What can I do to get 50 army experience? One is mainly fight a war, uh, which which is obvious. Patagonian workers front. So uh, Argentina has lost. So the international has a pretty big foothold in South America at the moment. We'll see how that kind of plays out in the future. And change mark a little popularity. By the way, Brazil. You are just social democratic. So I don't know if they're going to go syndicalists at all. What else is happening in the world? Bulgaria is losing their war. The CNT is doing better than, I, than normal, I would say. They're kind of doing a mistake here, I would say. But aside from that, nothing too, too crazy. Russia is kind of doing its normal thing. The Ottoman Empire is doing significantly better. Saudi Arabia... You just didn't join the war. Is Yemen in the war? No, Yemen actually did not rebel against... Maybe maybe Yemen only rebels against uh, the Ottomans once the Saudis get involved? Because usually Yemen invades at some point and tries to break free. We'll see how that goes. We got the Siamese Federation. Who I'm thinking about, I don't know if I've ever actually seen them win their war. I'm, not, I'm just not used to seeing like this weird blue country in uh, Southern Asia. Or Southeast Asia. But this is South is this Southern Asia? Is India considered Southern Asia? Like this is Southeast. This must be South. Who calls it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Guatemala joined the revolutionary front. So what are you doing? You're getting some more stuff done. Like we're getting pretty good. We're thirty seven point five percent. I could improve relations, but I don't think that actually would boost up uh support for the party at all. Okay, because it did stand with Beijing. You've mended the divide. You can get more influence, which I would appreciate a great deal. I don't know what you're really doing. You're, you're going to stab some people. As long as you're not stabbing me, that's completely acceptable. What do you do? You're, you know what? 15 army experience and some more war support. Like, what are you? You're no army experience at all. So, you know, let's do Lessons of the Intervention. And for you, let's also integrate the other province in uh, Shangxi. And I, I don't know when... At some point, this will happen. It, it is just a matter of time. Patagonia work for Umbra. Livia have ended their hostilities. Because you're not, I guess, a puppet of Chile anymore. I don't even know why you're at war with each other. If you're getting support from the British and the French. Okay. I mean, this war looks like it's a little bit stagnant for now. Italy. The SRI really just never has knows how to actually unify Italy. Like, Italy could unify before the Second Ville Creek, but the AI, I don't know. I don't think the AI knows that it can do that. Well, actually, delete your plan. I, I, I think attacking the south first probably makes more sense. Uh, let me actually take a quick look at uh, Chinese factions. So the people who are allied to us, Xinjiang is aligned towards us. Of course, the people who are already in our faction. But that's really it. Most people... Federalist leader. You created the southern nationalist group. That is less than ideal. You've joined with the Yunnan. 
I wish you didn't do that. What if... Hmm. I feel like that's a bit of a sign of a provocation. Like, they're like, hey, we are going to attack you at some point. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I would supply... Like, you're kind of garbage. I don't know if I actually really want that right now. Let's go for better fighters, I guess. We are making a handful. You have 4 to 10, 5 to 20, 3 to 19. Yeah, so it makes way more sense to put more troops on this border. Like, we should still win. I think even against all four of them against us... I, I think the numbers are still in our favor. The, the wild card, of course, is the defending governments. The defending government could support, essentially, the Southern Nationalist. And put us on two fronts. Which is not ideal. But we have aircraft. And for the most part, I don't think the AI has any planes. Because yeah, you're all KMT. Like, are all four of you KMT? I keep pressing the wrong button. I mean, Hunan's unaligned. The military government is considered unaligned. Like, who, who's actually considered the... You're the Federalist leader. Who's this guy? So, I mean, you formed a faction. Where is Yunnan in here? The right camp. Oh, Yunnan's actually the faction leader. Okay. So, you have one faction here. You're another faction. You are proclaiming the federal government. You might actually make your own... Wait, because you're technically two different factions. So there's a chance that you guys will actually fight it out, which is fantastic for me. If, if you guys want to go to war first, I would not say no. You know, we'll go for the 1939 rifle right now. Just because we can. So here's the best case situation, I think. Is you two combined into a faction. You two combine into a faction. You fight each other for like five years while I deal with the fighting government. And then I just wipe out whoever's left. So if you guys would make that happen, I would appreciate it. We'll also make a handful of more tanks. They're pretty cheap. You'll be done in 21 days. After that... I mean, we have army experience here. And some war support stability as well. And the political power gain. Removing fractured empire. Would definitely still be nice. Rare and Revolt. Did you go Totalist? Yeah, you did. Okay. You guys can have a, rev uh, like a Revolt. It doesn't make any difference to me. I believe he's been annexed. Okay, well. That's one war over. That'd be 35. That'll put us up to 37. Not enough for uh, a reform. Also, you don't need to be in this territory. Just only be in uh, friendly areas. Anshin technically is friendly, but y you know what I mean. Actually, within the faction. Or within our tactical borders. War propaganda is meaningless. You are going to be getting some good stuff done soon. I don't think there's anything I can do to influence them. I think Anshin needs to influence themselves for the time being. So you're a war of national resistance. Once we're a war of defending government... You also remove Fractured Empire. War support, political power. Like, that would be nice, for sure. Eradicate the concessions, I really don't think is meaningful for us. Uh, like, I want to kind of do this stuff. But, I mean, the four... Was it four? Yeah, the four military factories has to be better for... Like, it has to be. So you have gone cyniclist. You're now at war with the Germans. So I can't imagine you surviving for too long. I, I don't know if the International can intervene there. Okay, resource development for Anqing. Of course, I will do anything I can. Uh, okay, resource development with Anqing. We've recently struck a deal with Anqing to stimulate uh, Qing Enterprises to aid in the prospecting and development of resources in their territory. Now, of course, it's going to uh, indirectly benefit from resources as we can trade with Anqing. Um, we shouldn't... I don't want to decrease influence. No, I'm not... I don't want to uh, potentially make them mad. We, I think we got, like, one more percentage at some point. Which is great. Any percent that I can get... Japan's... Okay. Japan just announced like, her ambitions... 
Is that is this actually the um the earliest that they could have done it? No, they could have done it before, I think. But that is worrying for us. We we actually really hope that Japan kind of influences or tries to attack everyone else except for us. Like if they go to war with Germany or the Dutch East Indies before dealing with anything in China. That is our best case uh, situation. Because I don't want Japan doing anything. I want them to stay as far away from you only possible. I have noticed that you have changed uh, colors. I don't know if that makes any difference for us. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure this is okay. You just, again, fight, fight amongst yourselves. And leave me the hell alone for now. Let's get an admiral. You guys have a, a fleet? 6 to 12. And the answer is no for you guys. So we have the biggest fleet in China. It cannot, cannot compete with the Japanese. Like, they would blow us out of the water immediately. New army form. We don't need war propaganda. I mean, most of this other stuff we don't need to do. I just don't know why we can't do this. I, I'm assuming actually because we really don't like the, the Westerners. It's a reasonable, uh, reasonable that they don't want to be our friends. But four military factories, what do we want those factories in? We want those factories. Not on you. Probably one, 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 one. Just one in all these categories. I know that, um, our resources are still bad. You know, aluminum will get, please, uh, let's get that from the Russians. They are by far the closest. Okay, Yemen has broken free from the Ottomans, but they're not actually at war with the Ottomans. So, you know, take that as you will. So it is 1938 still. Technology is a little bit out of date. We'll go for another industry tech, just because I think industry techs are almost universally the best uh, option. You guys are training on the border. You do still have empty provinces. So we could maybe get, like, cavalry, go one, two, surround here, capture all their fortifications. So the fortifications would be really, really, really nice to maintain. You guys don't have a lot. And, like, I can't... Okay, now they declare war in Yemen. But there's nothing I can do to start a war as much as I would like to. Canada has now intervened in the American Civil War. We'll see how that turns out for well for them. We can't, we do want them to lose, again, just so when the war with legation cities happens, they maybe stay out of it. Because, like, right now, we'd be at war with Japan, Russia, Germany, the Canadians, Austria, essentially everybody... Which is one of the reasons we do want to back the international more than most other people. Like, you are completely encircled, which is insane. We'll, we'll, we'll see how you can actually pull out there. The left front. Are you going to join the international, by the way? I mean, you do get 10% support for everything, so you might go syndicalist. I don't know. We could get some rubber, and you know what? We'll get the rubber. Because right now we have... I mean, our consumer goods are still terrible. We're at 40%. Mostly because of the Fractured Empire. Like, that's still really harming us. So once we get these four military factories, we probably want to go down towards uh, Harmonious Balance. But I guess... You also remove the penalty. You also remove the penalty. You're 14 days. So what actually makes most amount of sense? Does it make us any sense to go down to that pathway? I mean, it's political power. The stability is also still nice. Or it, or it probably makes more sense still to increase our military capacity as much as we can. Breaching the dams still don't think makes a lot of sense. The poor technology... Supply consumption minus 10%. I think we just work with the Manchu Generals right away and kind of do other stuff. Let's work with Manchu Generals. Maybe they'll help us out some in some, in some way. 
Yeah, do need more aluminum, so I think we're fine getting a second one from there. I know we won't be able to construct any civilian factories. But that's okay. Three out of sixty. Four out of sixty. Okay. I mean, recovery rate, the defense of core territory in these forts should hopefully mean that they'd have a very difficult time breaking through. You're doing the land value tax. You're doing university expansion. Like, I wish I could just kind of invade all of these people. But 39. So I think Enching is doing stuff that helps us out. We got some credibility, credibility, a research spot. And she recognizes the QIE.get name. Always, always important. Influence by two. I think if you get these two, that should put us over 42%, because you're at 39 right now. Brazil has joined the Reichs Pact. Hmm. Why would they join the Reichs Pact? Unless they have like a Q. No, nope, they didn't have a Q. They just joined the Reichs Pact. Okay. Okay, the Ottoman Empire has annexed Iran. So the Ottoman Empire has definitely won their war. Russia is doing some more stuff. So I'm assuming probably the... Yeah, the, the Germans just basically didn't even want to try to defend this area. I'm surprised Ukraine is doing as well as they are. They've actually slightly pushed, I think, into... Uh, into here, which actually is pretty good for them. So. So, 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 so. 100 and... Okay, new Dalai Lama... I think that's the Dalai Lama that's alive today, right? I'm pretty sure. Like, I'm pretty sure this is the same person. Because, like, who else would it be? Dalai Lama right now is, like, 100 years old. So we could get more conscription. Absolutely, I think there's no reason to get that whatsoever. I would still really like war economy. But not much we can do about that. Hmm. I mean, I could... How many rifles do I have? I have 10,000 rifles in uh, deployment. What we're going to do is deploy, deploy. Hopefully it'll deploy all 12. Yes, it does. Cancel, cancel. You are all going to move down to Orange Army. So that's a pretty good expansion of the armed forces. We're now missing a lot of uh, rifles, but again, that's only a 46-day day shortage is not bad. Tanks for about a year is definitely slightly worse, but as long as we're focusing on reinforcing, I think we're still going to be okay. The 21-24... Definitely, definitely makes us the strongest uh, Chinese power. And actually, if we can also upgrade our tactical bombers to be slightly better as well. Having a decent air force is also very important. Getting those air superiority bonuses is needed. Air treat independence, but that doesn't make any sense. Crew relations, I mean, you already love us. You all love us. Yes. And the century of humiliation. Do you also give us any... Yeah, you're also more influence. What do you do? Also, more influence. All of those are fantastic. How many troops do you guys actually have? You have 28. Being able to annex 28 divisions uh, into our armed forces is fantastic. Mostly because the AI... Um, I'm better I'm better at controlling the, the units than the AI would be, for sure. And I don't know if any of you guys can be upgraded. The answer is no. Some of you guys are green, but I think those are the uh, militia troops that we trained up. So you know what? For right now, I mean, I'm. What are you doing? You're training Japanese instructors. Let's train a little bit here. Japan is currently doing a Nishan Ro. You want to any of the like? Focus on this tree, please. Do not do uh, Shai Shin Ro. If you want to do any of this other stuff, just do not any of the the anti-Chinese stuff. Don't do, please. I uh, I beg of you. The pro-Russian coup in Lithuania. Okay, I don't think I've ever seen that event. Okay, definitely interesting. Also, getting how much are we getting now? Still 0.054. Is that? It might be capped. 0.054 is horrible. It's really bad. Yeah, because now are you a you are a Russian puppet. That could lead to war with Germany. Maybe. It does cut Germany off from a direct um land connection to the Ukrainians. 
So we'll see how that really plays into uh, things in the future. Wuchan Anjing wants some development. Yeah. I have a lot of political power. We can, we can invest in you. But it makes sense also to kind of influence them. Just because we'll eventually be able to annex you in the future. Which would be nice. Uh, what do we want after that? Bombers, Air Doctrine. Let's look at purchasing, purchasing foreign weaponry. It might not uh, end up being very important. Yeah, so you've all aligned yourselves to fight the CSA. Everybody hates the CSA. So we'll see if... Uh... Because it's, it's literally everybody against them. And there's a chance the CSA still pulls out ahead. There, there have been times when they've been able to uh, effectively do that. 18. I rather declare war on the Entente. That could have some implications to the American Civil War for sure. This doesn't matter too much. Is there... Can I see in your event tree, like, when... Army... We want to look for... Shank. Shing government does not exist. Because the path declared war on you. Have you done this yet? Probably. I mean, you've, you're already here. I mean, you, you could have already done it. I don't know. You, you might already be preparing the war. Which I would uh, argue that you shouldn't do, please. Once you're actually done this, that actually put us over the uh, the cap to actually annex you. And it would be really, really nice to get that done. I don't want you to say no to it, though, because that would be bad. Hmm. We could, we could, we could do it. What are we going to do? We're going to do, do coward strats once again. Because I love me. Some coward strats. Did I did I do it? As far as I know, Hearts of Iron Four. Yeah, no, this is still good. I don't know why these had the Norwegian flag from the last campaign. Don't ask me. In thirty days, we'll see what their response will be. Hopefully, it's good. And I mean, we're getting more. You give us one percent, but I guess you're actually really not going to do anything. Ajig has agreed. I don't know you've you've agreed to join the faction a second time. Poland's declared war on the National Republic of Lithuania. Are we in cooperation with Enjing? Enjing is now part of an alliance. Why has why is this now just popping up? Sure, we'll do this. How is the cooperation, by the way? It's very high. Okay. So very high cooperation. I feel like that is good. George just capitulated in 25 days. They have refused training. Sure. I, I, I don't know. Angie, I have no idea what the hell you're doing right now. I don't need to open up talks. We're actually at 46% uh, support. Which is pretty, pretty good. 20 days. Angie, 46%. Is about four point five percent higher than um than the minimum. We have very high cooperation. Yes, yeah, construction speed. You're not a puppet of ours. And Bel and who's in power in Bulgaria? It is Social Democrats. I mean, Germany is making some moves here. I think White Ruthenia is going to be killed. You're now at war with uh like a tiny Armenia. I, I'm, I'm sure Russia is sending troops to you. Also, the CSA is now just invading New England. They're, they might actually get them capitulated very soon. We don't want to op open up military talks. Really, even this uh, developed Wuchang isn't necessary, I think. You're getting a new provisional government. You remove institution. I mean, you have a lot of penalties right now, but I'm sure once we annex you, we're going to give you two thumbs up. And we'll be very secure. We do have 181. 
We could go for better fighters, or better... I mean, you're both better fighters. Cheaper fighters. I'd actually get, like, an Air Force guy. Yeah, so go Air Spear, you're already here. I want you to say yes. 46%? Ah! Ah! Maybe? Hello? Anching? Are you there? Wrestler War in Armenia. That's not a huge surprise. Are you going to acknowledge my, uh... My request at all? I don't know. Which is... A little bit disappointing. Will you... Maybe? Maybe? I don't know. They don't seem to be doing anything right now at all. Uh, do we have anything else we can do down here? Let's see what the higher foreign advisors are. And what are you? You are 500 weapons, sport equipment. I really don't think we need these too much. You are actually 100 research boost. That's pretty good. I'll, I'll definitely take that. The other one is just buying weapons, which is... I'm sure still good. But, I mean, 100% research bonus, I think, is always, like, really, really nice. But I do think for right now, this is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So, thanks everybody for watching. My name is Anthony. If you enjoyed, run a thumbs up. And now, do we can always thumb down. Want to subscribe, and goodbye.